Hello everyone, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing today is another one of our infographic tutorials. Uh, if you haven't watched my first one, um, just click in the right hand corner um, and it'll just give you a sense of some really simple infographics which can really help you. Um, we're going to be doing a bit more complex infographic today. We're, as you saw in the, in the preview, we're going to be doing like almost three dimensional um, illusion with a two dimensional shape that you can put in using the insert tab. Um, I'm hoping to make a few of these infographic tutorials, so stick around after the video to watch some more of them. What do you want to do? Um, you want to open a new presentation in PowerPoint, and then just let's close the design ideas, and we're going to go layout in the, here, go blank, so that we've got a blank slide, right? With infographics, you want to use um, a lot of shapes right like um, in the previous tutorial if you watched that I used a lot of rectangles and circles and some block arcs as well we're going to be doing using this rectangle with rounded corners today and we're just going to make a um, uh, just a shape here which is more vertically stretched than horizontally but you can just make it as much as you want um, and then with we're gonna um, go shape film less uh, you can choose whatever um, sort of um, like colour scheme you want to use. Uh, let me, I'm just gonna use I don't know, let's let's stick with green, right? And we're gonna have shape outline of none, right? Um, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna uh, call control and that's gonna have a copy. You'll see that there's like a almost like a um, transparent version of that and you'll see it's coming out of the bottom. So I want it to keep snap to the to the um, bottom here so I'm just gonna hold shift as well so that it, it doesn't it can't go off the vertical line and we're just going to put it about here right we're going to go send to back and we're going to go shape fill more fill colors and we're going to just make it a bit darker right so we've given it almost like a shadow or like a like a 3d as if you're looking at it from the front and we're going to make a circle right this is where the the icon will go um, as you saw in the preview right um, so there's one thing about 3d that a lot of people get wrong when you're looking at like a like a cylinder or something, the top of it is not actually circular. Well, it would be circular if you like looked at it from the top, but we're not actually looking at it from the top. We're looking at it from the side to make it more 3D. What you want to do is you want to use an elliptical shape. So, for example, if you looked at like a pencil pot, you'd see that from where you're sitting. If let's say you're looking at it from the front, you'd see that the top isn't actually circular. It's actually um, elliptical from where you're seeing it. So that's what we're going to do. That's we're literally just squashing the shape until it it, it like matches with the with the um, like with what the this um, the rectangle looks like so far. So you just play around with it until you think it, it looks good, right? I'm just going to put it around there. I'm going to make the shape fill again, light green, no outline, and let's just hold Control Shift and move this a bit down, right? Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go um, send to back and in the shape fill we can use the recent colours which is this dark green here. Now let's use a rectangle and we're going to just create a rectangle, right, let's just zoom in. And what we want to do is we've got the shape here and we want this to align with the shape so just move it until it aligns and align with the middle of the shape, right, and then wait, the middle of it and then the middle of this shape right which is around here right and we're going to just send this to back right and we're going to go no outline and shape fill of this dark green that we we're just using right we can stretch it a bit more and then now you'll see that we've got like a, almost like a cylinder there so if um, you can use this cylinder object which is let me just find this one here right but if you look at it it looks more like you're looking at it from the side than anything you can't have it so much on top um, like you can't bring this orange dot more than the middle, right? Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, we're going to uh, copy this, right? Control copy, and then we're just gonna put that over the the top, so that you'll see that if I, if I hold it there, you see that there's the dotted red lines um, that are are there, which are just showing me that's aligned with the with the, pre the like the bottom shape, and we're gonna make the shape fill of white and shape outline none. We're going to zoom in now, hold shift, control and make it a bit smaller, right? 
I think that's good enough. And that's where the icon's gonna go, right? Uh, I think you'll see in my previous video I used uh, the idea of, let's say, doing a presentation, right? Uh, we're gonna do an, I don't know what icon we can use. Um, actually, I think we can make that. Um, you can use whatever icon. Um, let's just go into icon and see what we can find. Um, okay, let's use this icon. I, I don't know, maybe you're planting seeds, I don't know. Um, let, let's just, just, you wanna hold shift and just make this a bit smaller, put it in the, the center of that. And that just gives the, um, it just gives, I think I talked about it a bit in the last video, uh, just gives it more of a graphic feel and more visual, visually appealing to, to the eye. Um, to make it more elliptical, uh, you can squash it a bit if you want, which will just mean it looks more like you're looking at it from the side but you can actually just leave as it if as it were if you want to right um let's just move that bit down and then now we're going to make a text box and let's just put o1 right let's make this aerial black white it's a bit bigger right so let's say this is first step right for example and then let's just put hold control and make a copy of that and let's just put step one there make it a bit less big maybe like that big and then you can just put all your points there I'll just put some points I don't know just put them all maybe some, just for all of them right you just put all the points that you want to do there right um, and then now what we're going to do, this is the more important part, we're going to highlight all of them, hold control and we're just going to copy that this way, right? Okay, um, I think we can move that a bit across. And then now, let's, we, we want to highlight just this, this like almost cylinder here. And we're going to bring this down here, right? Um, right, just bring it about here, right? And then now highlight what we've just copied and let's just bring this down so that it's, it's like almost here right so it looks like um, if you think about it there's like a there's um, a 3d object that's like almost connecting with it with this cylinder hitting the side of this right now we can use just your own color scheme I'm just gonna use a, a turquoise color maybe and use a blue at the end um, so let's just Copy, hold those two because those have got the same color. Go shape fill. Let's go more fill colors and let's just choose like a, a color like that, maybe, right? Okay, let's use those two. Go shape fill, more fill colors. Make this a bit darker, actually. I'm holding the wrong color. I just need to hold those. So I've just turned it to that color so that when I go more fill colors, it's the same color. So I've just got another one and this time what, we're not going to copy this one since we've got already the, the same one that we need, we're just going to copy this one and let's just copy that. Hold control, hold shift so that it doesn't go off the horizontal axis. We're just going to put it about here, right? And let's just bring, um, hold that back bit there and go arrange and go center back so that it looks like more like it's sitting on the side, right? change that to step three but it really doesn't matter you just put whatever you want and then now to change the graphics so you can go to graphics format and actually you can just change the graphics to a different icon right i'll just choose um, this anchor right and i can just change this one as well change graphics um, i use this tape right so um basically uh, this is literally it it's really simple you can put a title up here um like in in a box or something but this is just literally the infographics uh, stick around for the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please like subscribe uh, share and comment on this video um, and i hope to see you next time and i hope you found that tutorial helpful